video. This is Life with OG. And we have a reaction video on a gas station employee that was caught stealing $25,000 in lottery tickets. I guess it ain't that hard to get it. Well, she did it, but she didn't get away with it. She got fired and taken away a handcuff. Don't ask them people for a recommendation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and run the clip. And for disclaimer purposes, I do want to tell all you people out there, you young people out there, I do not condone stealing of any kind. You should go out there and work hard. If you ain't got it, you ain't got it. With that being said, let's see how this all started. Entire book no, entire book. Wow, no, and I didn't. Okay, and here's I the thing. So I need to let the state know. I have to let the state know how many are gone. Grab my black brothers. Boss man, please. But there's a mine. whole bunch more in there. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Because these are mine. Don't do You didn't buy all those. Please, 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 please. We're, please, stop. Please. We're, We're done playing games. We're done playing games. We're done playing games. We've all played the lottery at some point in our lives, whether it be the Powerball or a simple scratch off at your local gas station or grocery store. The rules are simple. We hand the clerk our money and hope for a winning ticket. But what if... You know, that's why she said, boss man, please. You know you have to. You know you was wrong. And you know, you know you had that voice in your head that was saying, I think this is a bad idea. I might lose it all. But you still want to do it. If I told you that there were no winning tickets because your clerk stole them all. That's right, stole them all. Tell me one no more winning tickets. She told you to me to tell me she knew all the white, the right winning tickets. Hmm. Here's how the scheme worked: a clerk at a local gas station would come into work, perform her usual duties, but in the midst of that, she would steal scratch-off tickets, not just one or two, but the entire book. The scheme was uncovered after the Florida Lottery reported that a twenty-five thousand dollars winning ticket was sold at the store, and the clerk who worked there tried to cash it. After investigating through CCTV cameras, the clerk can be seen stealing thousands of dollars in scratch-offs and only scanning the bottom portion, all the winning tickets she would purchase after she won, so the transaction appeared to be legitimate, that is, until she won the $25,000. Then the full scheme was uncovered. Hey, can you come in real quick? I gotta talk to you. Yes. What happened? I just, we gotta talk about some stuff. Let's talk about something for you. <laughs> she said, he said, hey, 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 you, you, eating the Doritos. Come here, let me talk to you. She's like, huh, oh, what, who, me? Yeah, you know it was coming. What? Well, no. right, we'll talk about it, come on. See if you come here for me real quick. Oh. Two, five, five, what is this about? Right, come on, just come this way. All right, come over here. Come here. Try to explain against my car, all right? Okay, what is this about? I'm going to explain it to you, okay? Just hang out, okay? Just just give me a second, okay? Okay. Just let me, let me get through the steps, and then we're going to go from there, okay? okay. So I'm going to read you something, all right? Just bear with okay, me a second, okay. okay? You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand that? In the comment section below, how many of y'all know when he said, I'm going to read you something real quick. How y'all knew? How many of y'all actually knew he was going to read her writings? Come on, man. You got to have a better catchphrase, man. Hold on, hold on one second. I got to read you something. What if she said, nah? And then just took off running. <laughs> Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand that? Okay. You understand? You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. Do you understand that? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. If you cannot afford, yeah, if you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. Do you understand that? Do you yes. understand each of these rights if I explained them to you? Yes. All right, having these rights in mind, do you want to talk to me? About, I want to know what it's about. All right, it's about some lottery tickets. Okay. All right. Do you know anything about lottery tickets? Yes. Okay. What do you know about them? That I work with them. Okay. What else do you know about them? This is, I'm, I'm giving you a chance to be forthcoming and honest with me. So, I'm gonna give you a chance to tell me what happened. Uh -huh. 
And then based on what you say, I'm gonna tell you what I know. Okay. But I'm giving you a chance to be honest, okay? Okay. That's it. Okay. Okay, so. Here? Yeah, there's something happened here. Okay. Got some lottery tickets. Your name came up. Okay. I've been doing a lot of research today. Mm -hmm. Let's just put it that way, okay? Okay. So look, I came up here to talk to you. Uh, so to give you a, maybe there's a logical explanation to this. I don't know. That's okay. why I'm here, to give you a chance to explain. Okay. So that's what I'm here for. Go ahead. Is, can I talk to my boss? No, not right now. Okay, well, I don't know what I'm She said, can I speak to my attorney, that's your boss, because your boss was the one that called them. Well, I think you need, to, you need to reach for another lifeline. Am I being blamed for stolen lottery tickets or something? Do you know anything about any stolen lottery tickets? Not really, I mean... Uh-huh. You know? working last Thursday? Come on, man, she been caught red handy. She just confessed, she said, uh... When, I, when am I being blamed for stealing some stolen lottery tickets? So it must have been brought to her attention before the shift started. And then they just brushed it off, so she denied it and tried to give her a chance to confess. So she didn't confess. They went ahead and called. Yeah, no. That's Thursday? Yeah, that would have been the 15th. 15th. I don't know. I can check my I don't know. You remember? You you were here because I, I saw I already know you were here last week. Oh okay. Well, okay. So what? I mean, I'm just giving you a chance to be up just to be up front with. He gained though. He said sometimes they be bluffing that. Sometimes they really don't know. They just got a hunch. They got a very good suspicion that it probably is you. So he says, hmm. I already know, or like like he already know you was here. Like he looked at the, the surveillance tape already. Either he looked at it or he wanna see if she gonna make his job easy so he don't gotta look at the tape. With me. That's all. Is there anything happened involving water tickets last to Thursday? Did you make a mistake? Yeah, I probably but I thought I worked that over with what, him. What 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 mistake did you make? Well he said that there was a short or something like that. A short of what? I don't really remember. That's no, no, I'm saying. asking a short okay, lottery it, ticket. I guess, yeah, the count. Okay. okay. When like, you say a short, how do you mean? Is it like one ticket missing? Is it like 80 tickets missing? Oh, I don't know. There was a short, I guess, of like a, maybe a couple, like $50, $60 or something like that, I guess. So a short in your drawer? Or no, short for the, because you have to actually count them as well. Okay. Yeah. So I don't like know the how tickets short. were short. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Did so he ever I don't say know how many I, were short? No, and I thought I worked that over with. I know he came to me and yeah. said it, but yeah. I thought I worked that over, but it was coming out of my check. Okay. So I don't... Pretty sure she do not get paid you no know, $25,000 plus for no lot of me tickets. Cut it out. Tell him out. We done work this out. And he said he gonna take it out of my check. $25,000? How long you gonna be working there until you pay that off? Come on, man. Stop playing. How much How much was supposed to come out of your check? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't really remember. I can look. I mean, I don't, I don't really remember. Hold on. So, there was a short of tickets. Uh, like fifty, sixty dollars. I, I'm thinking that's one of the last things I remember. Who discovered the short? Who talked to you about? The only person who would discover is my boss. And who now, when you say my boss, you're referring to. A yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So came to you and said there was an issue. Yeah, he'll yeah, always come to you if you're if it's short the next day, and then he'll let you know, and then I'm like, okay, well. Okay. Well, we're not you say work it out. Do you mean like? She's saying that like she always come up short on her register. Something just ain't right. Only in Florida. I'm gonna pay, yeah, I'm gonna pay for it. I'm gonna have to pay for it. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna have to pay it back. Okay. And how much did he say it was at that time? I don't, that's why I said I can look at my phone, I can remember the date, but I don't really remember offhand. Okay, that's fine. All right. Um, well, there's a bunch missing right now. A whole bunch. Like, a bunch. A bunch. Like, so, I'm just, I'm just being, I'm just, like I said. She said it was, a, she said it's like $50 worth. And he's saying, nah, it's like a couple, a whole bunch missing. He's saying it like she just took the whole stash. They was trying to sell lottery tickets and everything was in her bag already. 
I think had no tickets to sell except the printable lottery ticket. They wanted to scratch off. She, she took all of that. She took that whole stash and said she going to have to take it out of my check. She needs to stop playing. Keep in mind, okay? I just, I just, I just want you to keep in mind. There's tons of cameras in here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You did a before it. Another one. He got proof. He got proof. They got see. They didn't just come to her with allegations. They came to her with physical proof. Now, I do not have YouTube Premium, so we're going to let this slide for the next three seconds so we can get back to the footage. Thank you. Remember he's talking about. Oh, the entire book no, is gone. The entire book. Wow, no. And I didn't. Okay. okay. I'm just, I'm being honest with you. I'm just, okay, I'm yeah, showing I you a little bit. Paper. Bro got a whole book report of alleged thievery. Man, listen, man, she out of here, man. Hold on. Let me see if they, I know they locked her up. I'm just because I don't got 20 minutes to be going through this. This is a review. We're going to cut straight to the cheese. We already know what happened to him. Fine. Don't do You didn't buy all those books. I'll tell you what. If we're yeah, going to no, play. We're going to play the game. I'm just going to no, tow the car and write a search warrant on it. That, I'm going to get that. Okay, we're done. We're done. Oh, oh, on, no, please, 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 please. Here, here. Okay, just hang. Hold up. Hold up. She had the whole book of lottery tickets in her bag, in the passenger seat. And she talk about, I give it back. Yeah, Y'all, cut it out. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. What's really going on? Uh, she got all the lottery tickets in her bag. And she wonder why she ain't, why she going to jail today. Hold on. Hold on. What's that? It's right here. Just pull the whole bag out. Just pull Hold up, Kai. You said. You need help? No, I got it. Just pull the whole bag out. Come on. That's what, that's Listen, bro. She was trying to pay the rent for the rest of the year. Because you know the rent increase is, is, is ridiculous right now. It's, it's an inflation. Everybody, at least everybody paying anywhere from fifteen to two thousand dollars a month. So she was trying to get her rent out the way. So everything else that she she working for, she was just, she could pocket that. Man, she got a oh, car. Oh, and then she had a couple extra tickets we don't know about that were also some winning tickets. Come on now. That's what I'm saying it's right here. Just pull the whole bag out. Just pull the whole, Dan, pull the whole bag out. Let's go. These are mine. Okay, just pull the whole I'm bag out. the books that you asked for. Here. Yeah. Come on, guys. She got like 200 tickets. She got the whole roll in her hand talking about these are mine. What did you use your whole income tax money to buy that? Cut it out. Somebody, she must have got a tip. Somebody must have told her these tickets were the one. Not the two, the one. Okay. All right, tell you what, just hop out for me. Yeah. No, no, just, no, no, there's a mine. whole bunch more in there. There's a whole bunch of stuff. These are mine. Don't you you didn't them. buy all those books. I'll tell you what, if we're yeah, going to no, play, we're going to play the game. I'm just going to no, tell I'm, the card yeah, write a search warrant on that, it. I'm going to get that. I'm going to get the. Just, okay, we're done. We're oh, done. Oh, oh, no, please, 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 please. Here, here. Okay, just take the bag. Okay, officer, my, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's go. Why, 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 please, 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 please. Out here, you commit the crime, you're going to do the time. I'm telling you, that's why, man. If I ain't got it, I, I'll go work for it. I'll go make some Uber, some DoorDash, some Uber or something. I'll go work two, three, three, four jobs if I got to. I'll work morning shift, middle shift, then the graveyard shift just to get my shit. You feel me? Come on now, you can't cut corners in life, man. You got to do it the right way. And if she got kids, this is not the prime example of what you what, what a hardworking individual is. This is not a breadwinner. She is not the breadwinner. She's the bread stiller. Come on, guy. Let that be a lesson to y'all, man. Put it down, man. 
If you ain't got if you ain't got it in your pocket, walk out, man. Ask somebody for a loan. Matter of fact, they even got the Dave app, they got the Bridget app, they got so many other apps where you can just borrow some cash. Come on, man, you gotta do better, man. She look like she at least 35, man. You too old to still be stealing out the corner store. Let that be a lesson to all y'all out there, all you grown ups, all you adults, all you teenagers, all you youth out there, man, stealing ain't the way, man. It's a prime example of what happens when you commit a crime, your butt is going away. And you're going to get a bad reputation because that's going to be on your jacket. Literally, everywhere you go, when they look and when they do the background check, it's going to be on that physical jacket, on that digital jacket. It's going to say you a thief. Come on now. It ain't worth it. Anyway, this is like with OG, man. This is my reaction.